I'm Hayley Kay and welcome to another Grand Theatre vlog. Now I'm joined by Chief Executive of the Grand Theatre, Ruth Eastwood and Carolyn Primitt, who is Head of Arts for Blackpool. Now Carolyn, I want to start with you. Um, recently I was lucky enough to go along to the launch of the new culture projects in Blackpool, but for those of us that weren't lucky enough to go, could you just give a little bit of a brief recap on what has been launched? So, we basically did our launch at the Tower Circus last week. We had about 100 people, the great and the good from arts and culture across the North West. And it's basically a campaign to say what fantastic culture we have in Blackpool, all kinds of culture across the different art forms. And we want people to enjoy it and participate more in that activity. So we had a culture panel and we had a conversation about culture. John Robb, a music journalist, was our MC, who did a great job. We had people like Professor Vanessa Tolman, who's an expert on heritage, and obviously the Tower Circus is our beautiful Victorian uh, circus space designed by Frank Matcham, a famous architect. So it was a really lovely event, and we showed a film that you can see on our website that basically promotes all the fantastic arts and culture, just to remind people what this town really does offer. I think people quite often forget. Now, Ruth, I wanted to speak to you about the Grand and the Grundy Art Gallery, because they're both national portfolio organisations. So how important is it for people to experience culture, and what is culture? <laughs> well... We've taken quite a broad def definition of culture. We, 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 we're interested in the story behind the story. So people come to Blackpool for the Pleasure Beach, but they might not know that some of the rides are actually the original rides back from 1915. So there's a heritage aspect and a fun aspect. Or like you say, going to the circus, you're in an amazing 120 year old palace for the people. And, and yet you're watching circus and you're watching modern circus. So it's about the, the mixing, mashing up of looking behind, slightly behind the curtain and seeing other things that you can interpret um, about Blackpool. So now it's been launched, how do people engage with it? How do people get involved, uh, uh, who want to get involved? Because they might not necessarily understand how they can do it and perhaps what it might entail. So we really want the support of all the artists and arts organisations, cultural organisations across Blackpool, and they can get involved. Like We have a website promoting all the great stuff going on, so if they've got events or workshops or activities, they need to let us know, and they can do that via the website. They can also give us their ideas for you know, doing special events or things that we can do to carry on promoting stuff. We also want audiences and local people and visitors to obviously go to as many cultural things as possible. So again, the website sort of points the way in terms of those different things. So we have social media, we have Facebook, we have Twitter. So basically we want artists locally, arts organisations, to basically promote our social media uh, you know, opportunities, as it were. And we've got that great film. We want everybody to tweet that great film out there so it can go you know, worldwide, basically, about how great Blackpool and is. And there's so culture. much to see on it as well. It's a brilliant video. Now, going back to that word culture, Ruth, sorry to keep asking you this, <laughs> but perhaps people have heard the phrase culture vulture. Um, and they've heard it banded around, but perhaps they don't know when they've experienced it. Or is, is, is that a problem? Or is it, is it, you know, how do we get people in well, on that? Well, what we're hoping to do is, uh, it, although the although the project's been started by a small group of people, what with the resource, we're actually hoping that people will be able to spread the word really quickly and efficiently about whatever it is that people can get engaged with. You know, it could be a knitting circle, it could be a um, a, 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 a heritage tour, it could be whatever. It's it's a one-stop shop. We hope it will become a one-stop stop shop for everyone, and it's free. See, that's that's the crucial word for me. It's free. So back to you, Carolyn, then. What do you think people should be looking out for to maybe try some of the activities? Because there's, for me, I've had a look and there's so many things that you're doing. What do you think that we should try? So I, I, I have a lovely team at the Grundy Art Gallery. You know, beautiful gallery, purpose built um, by the Grundy Brothers. But we have an amazing contemporary art programme. Maybe that's not to everybody's taste, but they need to go in and have a look. And we have a great exhibition coming up with an artist called Roy Voss. Um, which is basically he's constructed a contemporary version of a pier and we'll be so you can go and have a look at that but also there'll be historic um, documents and images of the piers in Blackpool because obviously we've got that heritage and in the autumn we've got the great Grayson Perry um, works coming with his tapestries so again if you wanted to see some beautiful textile work those will be up in the Grundy as well. And, and it's free. And yes, it's, and it's <laughs> we need to keep yes, saying, and, and it's free. free. And Ruth, in terms of the Grand Theatre and programming, what, what, what do you think is, the, is what you think people should be getting involved with? I think that um, what we hope that people do is they, they enjoy 
the building as much as the show. So we had Jason Manford on at the weekend, for instance, and it was a it wasn't a theatre audience. It was a load of young I was people. There. Yeah, was yeah. theatre with me. But what was fantastic about it was, you know, before the show, everybody had their smartphone. They were all taking photographs of the ceilings, photographs of the cherubs, and the actual surroundings because it's a special it's a special rich environment um, that makes. And you know, a trip to the theatre in Blackpool really different from a trip to the theatre in a modern place. Yeah, I, I'm, I know I'm biased, but during Jason's set on the night I was watching, he mentioned the theatre and how beautiful it was, and that it's on his album cover. That it, and it's right. so beautiful. And like you say, you sit in the dark and you don't always experience what is right around you. I guess. Um, so. A, a couple of other things, Carolyn. There's a specific steering group set up, and and so what are they? What are they actually hoping to to achieve at the end of it all? Because it's all well and good having these meetings and having these groups, but what's the what's the final like, sort of outcome? So the campaign has been launched, and it is the B side. The alternative we're, we're saying the B side is the alternative side to Blackpool. I suppose the unexpected with culture is maybe not what you're thinking Blackpool offers. So obviously we want to carry that on and grow that, but we need everybody to kind of get behind it basically. Whether it is going onto the website and letting us know about things, um, whether it's using social media, whether it's kind of coming to us with ideas again of what we can do, but we want to grow that steering group as well. You know, we will we'll find a way in terms of it involving more people locally in terms of telling us what's going on. Well, it definitely feels like culture is the buzzword for 2018 for Blackpool. Uh, as we say, you can head over to at culture BPL for more details uh, and have a little look. They've got a Facebook group. As Carolyn said, they've got a Twitter page as well. I've been Hayley Kay for G Vlog.